Now we're going to look at a problem where we have to come up with a conjecture. Consider the following procedure. Select a number, multiply the number by 4, add 8 to the product, divide the sum by 2, subtract 4 from the quotient. Repeat this procedure for three numbers of your choice. Write a conjecture that relates the result of the process to the original number selected. Let's do this first. We're going to begin by selecting a number, and then we're going to do the operations that are described, and then write down the result. Let's begin just with the number 2. We're going to multiply that number by 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Add 8 to the product, and so we end up with 8 plus 8 to give us 16. Divide the sum by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8, and then subtract 4, and 8 minus 4 is 4. Let's choose another number. I'm just going to go up 1 to 3. Multiply by 4. That gives us 12. Add 8. 12 plus 8 is 20. Divide by 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Subtract 4. 10 minus 4 is 6. And just another number. We'll just choose 4. Multiply by 4 gives us 16. Add 8. 16 plus 8 is 24. Divide by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. And subtract 4. 12 minus 4 is 8. Now we want to try to come up with a conjecture that tells us something about the result of the process, that is, these numbers on the bottom row, compared to the original number. When we started with 2, we got 4. Started with 3, we got 6. Started with 4, we got 8. What we notice is that in each case, we end up multiplying the original result by 2. Or we could say we doubled the original number. Now, we want to represent the original number by the variable n and use deductive reasoning to prove the conjecture that we made, that is, that our result is just a multiplication by 2. So we're going to start again. This time, let's just select a number. The number I'm going to select is n. Let's multiply that number by 4, and I'll write that down underneath it. So we end up with 4 times n. Let's add 8 to that product. So we'll have 4 times n plus 8. Next, we want to divide the sum by 2. So we'll have 4 times n plus 8 divided by 2. Now here we can simplify somewhat. So I can rewrite this as 4 times n divided by 2 plus 8 divided by 2. That's going to give us 4 times n divided by 2 is going to be 2n, and 8 divided by 2 is going to be 4. And finally, we take this value and we subtract 4, and we end up with 2n plus 4, and then we subtract 4 to give us our result of 2n. And 2n is just a multiplication of the original number times 2, proving our conjecture.